فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير If you don't know the Quran, you have wasted your time. You have wasted your life completely. You don't know the Quran, you've wasted your life. Allahu Akbar, it reminds me of those who were crossing the river. You might have heard this from one of my talks in the past or elsewhere. And they were crossing the ocean, in fact, or the sea. And subhanAllah, the sailor who was there was not really educated. But at the same time, the people, the four or five people who were on his boat were highly educated. So the one says, I'm a professor in biology. The other one says, I'm a professor in geology. The other one says, I'm a professor in technology. And the other one says, some other ology, whatever it was. And they asked him, what are you studying? I'm just a sailor. Subhanallah, I'm just a sailor. I just sail. I know how to sail. Oh, you wasted your life. I wasted my life. My brothers and sisters, that's not a waste of life. The man is earning. So what happened is, a little bit later, the boat started rocking and the tide became dangerous. The waves began to rock the boat and it was about to capsize. So it was his turn that the sailor, he looks at these men and he says, do you know swimology? <laughs> they said, no. He said, well, all your biology and geology and technology and whatever other ology will not come to your help. You have wasted your life. They said, what do you mean? They said, because there is rockology here. And you have to jumpology into the oceanology. And you need to know swimology. Otherwise, there is no point in all your ologies. And subhanallah, you might be brit bitten by a crocodology. <laughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. They realize the point. But the point I am raising is, if we are people who have led a life full of technology and biology and geology without Quranology, we have wasted our life. That's the point. We have wasted our life. Imagine arriving when the boat is rocking. Sakaratul Maut. Sakaratul Maut bil The pangs of death have come with truthfulness. That is the reality. It is yaqeen. This is what you've been promised. Imagine when the pangs of death come to you or myself or anyone else and they don't know what is lying ahead because they never took a moment to learn the Quran and revelation that which came from Allah. It is clear cut. I have read the Bible and the Torah and so many other books and trust me, the Quran is so, so miles apart when it comes to revelation. It is definitely clear cut different from those books that have been changed in such a way that they have 36 to 42 different versions of the same Bible. But we haven't yet read the Quran. So how will we achieve righteousness? Allah says, you want to achieve righteousness. There's the Quran. Are they not going to ponder deeply over the verses of the Quran? So your duty towards the Quran is to read it. To try your best to understand it, to ensure that you have put it into practice as best as possible, sought forgiveness for wherever you have faulted because we are human. And at the same time, have hope in the mercy of Allah, teach it to others, convey it as best as you can so that you can achieve goodness and you can achieve righteousness.